What's up guys? Yes, we are going to get these lights removed so they will be out of our picture in the near future. But for now, what's on the menu? London broil. This cut of meat has always given me a lot of trouble. It's one where I call up my dad. I said, dad, how, how'd you make this? And he walks me through it. I do the exact same thing and it turns out terrible every time. And then I go to his house and guess what? He made it perfect again. So it's always been a challenging meat for me. Today, we're gonna see if sous vide will help with making this the perfect cut when I'm doing London broil. So we're gonna experiment two different ways. We're gonna cut right in half, and we're gonna cook one side of it for 12 hours. The other one, we're gonna cook for four hours to see if there's a lot of difference in the texture for cooking it that long, or is it just too long and you don't need to do all that. The second part of the experiment is I've never done anything like this, and I'm sure someone has, I just haven't looked it up on YouTube yet, is we're going to add the broccoli right into the bag with the different cuts and cook it up so it's cooking in that natural beef flavor also. So when we pull it out, it's ready to eat because it's been marinating and cooking in a nice natural beef broth that the London broil is going to create. So this is comparison cooking. Let's get to it. London broil like I said in the pre uh, before the cook I've always had trouble with this so hopefully sous vide has made this super easy we're gonna jump right into this and test this to see if it made a huge difference cooking it for 12 versus 4 hours Max kick us off all right It's a little chewy. Uh, I can really taste the rosemary that was in there. The broccoli didn't do anything, luckily. Yeah, the broccoli. So I tried to experiment where we added the broccoli right to the bag. Uh, my friends from uh, Fire and Water, uh, their Facebook page, Sous Vide, uh, it's a great Facebook page. Go check it out. Uh, after I started to cook this, they informed me that the broccoli wasn't going to cook. And they were right. I chewed into a piece of broccoli. And it was way too low of a temperature and it was disgusting it was gross but i was worried it might spill over add some weird flavor to the beef it did not but the rosemary is just the right flavor get that one right in there this is the four hour cook and that is chewy what's good it's chewier but i like the flavor more on the two hour cook yeah, we, we were in between like, we were closer to three hours. I wanted to do uh, four, yeah. but I was hungry. He was hungry, we had to eat. You can see this is a lot uh, more rare through it, while the uh, 12 hour, you can see that, definitely cooked through a lot better. This is a great success. We'll probably have a show notes in a few minutes after we chow down, so stay tuned. So very interesting experiment today. We had a 12 hour, a true 12 hour, and then we had about a three hour 
London broil. Uh, at first, we loved how juicy the three hour was. And this was a little dry, but as we got more into it, this got a little too tough. It seemed like a traditional London broil cut of meat. This was starting to seem more like a... Like a sirloin. It started to taste more like a sirloin. Like if you went to Outback Steakhouse and ordered... An Outback yeah, sirloin. an Outback sirloin. That's kind of what it tastes like. We are like. not endorsed by Outback. <laughs> but if Outback wants to send us some cards, by all means, have at it. Yeah, but overall, I'm really happy with it. Even though this one's a little tougher, it's still better than any London broil I've done in a traditional cook. And you know I'm quick to you know, blow up sous vide and say it wasn't worth it. This, I do think, uh, shockingly, was worth it. Yeah. Any other thoughts? No. I, th I mean, I think the 12 hour, if you do a 12 hour sous vide on a London broil, you can almost eat it like a normal steak and not like you would a traditional London broil. There you have it, folks. If you like this show, smash that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, and turn on those notifications.